what? I refuse to believe Zoe Laverne is 19 years old because she's back acting hella immature and throwing a huge accusation at Charlie D'Amelio. Here we go again. Three, two, one. Hey loves, your girl is back once again with a brand new recap this time. And let me put it out there, this video is extra juicy because we're gonna be talking about Zoe Laverne accusing Charlie D'Amelio of being a bully, Trisha Paytas coming after Addison Rae, people attacking Dixie D'Amelio for using Noah Beck. As y'all can see, there's a lot to catch in today's video, you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into the mess. Zoe Laverne, I understand why you want to be relevant so bad, but accusing Charlie D'Amelio of something huge won't get you anywhere. Trust me. Yep, Zoe is back leaking conversations of her shading Charlie just to keep the spotlight on herself. We're used to seeing Zoe Laverne throwing shade at Charlie D'Amelio all the time, but this time it went way too far. The last time this happened, Zoe Laverne got attacked for letting her friend attack both Charlie and Avani. People kiss. Oh no, what a big deal. If this was fucking Avani Greg, Charlie D'Amelio, oh, we love her. It's okay. Acceptance, forgiveness, peace, love, and rainbows. But because it's Zoe Laverne, the star of Oh, Y'all are having an issue. Let me just say this, Greg. This is what you need to do. You need to stay out of women business. Anyways, I've got to say, for the last couple of weeks, things were slowly getting better for Zoe since she decided to finally move on from Connor and get herself a new boyfriend. However, at this point, we all should have known that her personality will forever stay problematic. Not a couple of days ago, an audio of Zoe accusing Charlie of being a bully suddenly got leaked online. And let me tell you, it honestly left me shook. Carly D'Amelio made me cry. What did she say? They gave me a whole long ass paragraph basically saying that I'm jealous of her and I should be because I'm an insecure bitch. Zoe is literally trying so hard to cancel Charlie. But wait a minute. I hope none of y'all believed this clout chaser. Did you all really? Anyways, when this leaked audio went viral, you guys, a lot of people were expecting Charlie D'Amelio to hit back at Zoe. But she didn't. Although the hate towards Zoe got much worse since many people are officially done with her bullshit every single day. Here's what some had to say. Zoe La Groomer needs to get off of social media and stop being obsessed over this 16-year-old girl who is just trying to eat snails and reach 100 mil. If Charlie actually did that, good, she's right. Not this again, she's obsessed with her, it's getting embarrassing. While many people were going off on Zoe, she suddenly disappeared off of social media. But don't worry you guys, she has a lot in store for us this week, trust me. Anyways loves, what's your opinion on Zoe still shading Charlie D'Amelio? Do you think it's getting ridiculous at this point? Let me know in the comments down below. Ugh, why can't these old influencers worry about their own scandals instead of coming after teenagers? And yeah, I'm talking about Trisha Paytas. Are we even surprised? Here's the tea about Trisha. I don't know if you guys have noticed at this point, but I'm low-key worried about this woman. I feel like she knows that she'll forever stay problematic, and that could be the reason why she comes after so many people every day. I feel like I just solved a math equation. As the majority of you guys know, the last time I mentioned Trisha Paytas in my videos, she was coming after Dixie and Charlie D'Amelio for literally no reason, and not gonna lie, that low-key gave her the attention she was asking for. But for the last couple of weeks, people have been ignoring Trisha despite all the shade she threw at TikTokers this week. Honestly, that kind of made people think that Trisha wouldn't return with a new scandal. But too bad, she did come with a huge mess earlier this week when she thought it would be a good idea to go after Addison Rae, since she's the only TikToker who hasn't been called out by Trisha yet. Here's what she had to say. I'm gonna go with cancel. Why? You're gonna cancel Addison. Okay, I'll tell you why. I never had a problem with her. She rubbed me the wrong way on a podcast she did called Zane and Heath Podcast, where she said, and I quote, nobody has been as popular on me on social media, so there's nobody I can talk to because no one's been as famous as me. And I was like, girl, like what? And honestly, I didn't know her name. I recognized her face and it rubbed me the wrong way. She was very, very arrogant and I didn't like that about an 18 year old who got, you know, a, a break on TikTok. Did Trisha really take the chance to come on a problematic podcast just to throw shade at Addison? Just cancel 
both of them at this point. Like, stop. It's actually painful to watch. As soon as this podcast went live on all social media platforms, things went from bad to worse. Bryce Hall involved himself just to defend his girlfriend, and of course, he came after the podcast for giving Trisha an opportunity to throw some shade at Addison. Honestly, they should just stop this podcast. As y'all can see, Bryce Hall was not having it at all. In fact, he wasn't the only person who was upset by the entire situation since a lot of people had something to say about Trisha and how Josh Richards should quit the podcast because it's painting a very bad picture of him. She talks about everyone else yet fails to focus on herself. Josh is disrespecting all of his friends by staying in that podcast. Josh gonna lose all his friends with this podcast, OMFG. Trisha should be the last person saying anyone should be canceled. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Trisha coming after Addison Rae? Do you think she's doing it on purpose now? Let me know in the comments. So apparently, Dixie D'Amelio is now using her boyfriend Noah Beck for clout? Who even comes up with these accusations for God's sake? Anyways, I'm not really sure if you guys have seen all the rumors about Noah and Dixie, but this couple has gone through a lot since the day they announced their relationship publicly. I mean, I hope none of y'all forgot about the time when people attacked Dixie for dating Noah so soon after breaking up with Griffin. Plus, we can't forget when Noah Beck also got attacked for dating Dixie while still being friends with Griffin Johnson. Can I live? Can I live? Can I fucking live? All the hate meant a lot of people started to dislike the couple even more. However, this was only the beginning, y'all, since people came after Dixie earlier this week for being a clout chaser and being rude to her boyfriend, Noah. Before anyone freaks out, here's how it all happened. At the beginning of this week, Dixie dropped a new YouTube video where she had a lie detector test with Noah just to entertain her fans. But too bad, it went in a whole different direction when her fans noticed how she was so immature during the video and how Noah seemed to be terrified of her in some clip. Check this out. Yeah, we <laughs> That's fine. Don't think I'm mean to you. You're just sensitive. <laughs> it's like, are you purposely mean to me? No. Are you sure? Yes. Just one, just because. Because I feel like you do, but like you clearly don't. But let's just see what you think. Do you wear? Do you think you wear the pants in the relationship? Yes. Like. Yes, 100%, no why's, questions asked. Why's that? Because I do. A lot of TikTok videos were posted about how Noah was being treated by Dixie and the situation suddenly took a turn afterwards. I kid you not, the entire TikTok community was annoyed and upset by how Dixie looked like she had full control over Noah in their relationship and how toxic they both were to each other based on the lie detector video. She legit thinks she's doing him a favor by dating him, LOL. He's scared of her, yeah. That's a huge red flag. I never thought that I would feel bad for this man. Not me feeling sorry for Noah Beck. She's just not mature enough, TBH. She's such a child. He's out of her league and deserves better. While many people were concerned about Noah, some people even took it way too far and started spamming Noah's TikTok videos with a ton of comments. But of course, Noah made it very clear later on that he's very happy in his relationship with Dixie and people should just stop being concerned about him. Can everyone in the comments please stop? Dixie and I love each other and you guys aren't able to see how we really are in private slash offline. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion about this entire situation? Do you really think Noah is being mistreated by Dixie? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap video in the comments below. I love you so much.